Yo guys, what's going on? Extra Bloppies here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can rename your param.sfos for your games. And if you're wondering what that is, that is the name of the game that displays on your um, profile when friends look at your name. So it'll be a different um, game name, which is pretty cool. So um, the things we're gonna need for this is the param.sfo editor located right here on my desktop. Link will be in the description. You're gonna need HXD editor and this NGU thread by me. Which um, is me releasing all my moving bytes so you guys can get those moving buttons in your name that you guys always wanted. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get our um, game backed up to our hard drive. Um, because we need our game backed up to our hard drive to make edits to it. So um, if you just back it up through Multiman, it will go to your internal hard drive. And if you're backing up to a USB, like an external hard drive, it will show up on dev USB. So... I'm going to connect, and usually you guys would want to go to devhd0, games, uh, what, oh my bad, I drag something there, alright, um, you guys want to want to go to games, and then you'd see your games that are back up to your hard drive, but, uh, I don't have that much on there, and so I would go to dev USB games, and I have all my games right here, I'm going to be using Skate 3 in this tutorial, so, here's the Skate 3 Plus, open that up, now to go to PS3 game, and then you'd see the param.sfo file right there. Um, so I'm going to drag it in here. And this step does not apply to you. I'm just going to drag it into param.sfo editor because I already had the mine renamed before I started this. But I'm going to rename it back to the original one. So, say, so I'd say I didn't do that. I would um, just drag this out. I'll drag it back in to show you. So that's the skate through. And then I drag. So, pretend I didn't do any of that. I drag my param.sfo out, open up param.sfo editor, and drag this right here. And you'll see that it's Escape 3. Now, if you guys want to just, um, what do you call it? Just, um, rename it normally with no buttons or moving symbols in it. Just write whatever you want right here. Escape 4 beta or whatever. Um, so you guys can just do that. Hit save. And, you know, replace it. And then you'll be all good to go. But um, that's how you rename it normally. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to put buttons in it. Because that's why you guys are probably here. So this one open up hex editor. And drag that param.sfo that we dragged out of FileZilla into hex editor. So if you want to just skip right to the buttons. You don't even have to do the param.sfo editor step. That's just for people that want to rename it normally without buttons in it. So just open it. Open the sfo with hex editor. Um, you'll see all this. Um, just go all the way to the bottom. And you'll see your sfo. Mine's Escape 4 Beta. That's what the SFO is. So that's how you know we're in the right spot. So now, what you guys want to do is click the beginning of the SFO, which would be, for me in my case, in front of the S, because that's where it starts. So I'd click right in front of the S, and then I'd go over to my thread, and I want to find a moving symbol that I want to use um, in my um, SFO edit. So I'm going to be using Moving Diamonds. Because it's a moving symbol, that's pretty cool. So, what you guys want to do is go back to Hex Editor. And after you click in front of the S, go over to the left and you'll see the um, the hex code for in front of that. It's like all, you know, it's like a little box. Click on that. And then start the code. Start the hex code. So, mine is EF91B6. So, click. So, I'll do this again. Click in front of the, click on the S. And then go over to the left where it's boxed off, and then click right there, and your uh, cursor should be blinking right there, and type in the moving code. So mine is EF91B6, uh, and then that's the moving code is there. Now go back um, to the right, and you'll see the last, the, the next um, thing where we're at. Click in, fr in front of it, the last, the next letter, like the normal letter, then hit space. And now we're on the right side, we can write, um, like, normal text. So I'm going to write Skate 4. I'll just write Skate 3, whatever. Skate 3, demo, because I'm a boss. Demo. <laughs> now, hit space. And I'll go back to the left, and then type another hex code you're, you want in. Uh, you guys can do multiple hex codes. I'm just going to use the same one, because it looks uh, more clean. So I'm going to type in the same code, which is right here. See, that was the beginning of it. So if I click... 
in front of that you'll see that goes back to the front if I click right here it goes right there so if I click right there it goes right there you get the point so now I'm gonna click right here and it takes me right to those zeros right there on the left and I'll type in EF then one three six and then it will say skate three and you'll see all these decrypted things right here that's perfectly fine and another thing is say if I was writing skate three and I screwed up and I spelled skate wrong and you want to go back you can't hit backspace or hit control Z you need to go to edit and hit undo 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 until you're at the spot uh, where you fucked up at just letting you guys know that because if you drag it in there after you backspace the whole SFO will be corrupted and that's really bad alright so after it's you mod it to your liking save it and then you'll get this param.sfo.back I would save that um, just until you replace the SFOs because if you did screw this one up um, you just rename this um, back to param.sfo and take the .back out if you um, got this one corrupted so I'm going to drag this one back over there and it's going to ask you to override hit ok now I'm rolling my gato and I'm going to go back to my games and I'm going to load skate 3 up the, the name on my games if you haven't installed will not update yet until you load it up a couple times and restart your PS3 so now I'm going to hover over app home after I loaded skate 3 and you guys will see that it has the moving diamonds in it to what I just renamed it to skate 3 demo and it has all the, the the diamonds in it. So, yeah. If that tutorial did help you, please leave a like. Comment if you have any questions. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace. Cap City, let's go! Let's go! Nigga don't want no smoke. Nigga don't want no smoke. Shots fire, man down. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. Nigga don't want no smoke. Nigga don't want no smoke. Niggas quiet with them bodies. Hit the floor. They hit the floor. Niggas don't want no smoke. Catch his ass at the liquor store. Man down, man down. Bodies hitting the floor. First 48, murder, yeah, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. Niggas don't want no smoke. They can't afford that dope.